Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hetty, uh, weather savants, and I uh, want to give you kind of an update on what's going to happen at least over the next week or two. It's been just crazy here. I mean, really, the entire country has been overall very little snow. Um, the Midwest has really had no snow, and uh, even the New England states haven't had that much snow at all as well. But what happens is... We are starting to see a few changes as we go through the next couple weeks. But first off, let's look at the rest of this week, which is kind of crazy. I want you to see these temperatures. A lot of areas are going to be pressing record high. So I'm going to go into uh, Christmas Eve. So this is Christmas Eve midday, but we're going to have 60s and 70s through Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, which is kind of crazy. And you can see the freezing line. It's this little red line is way up to the north. So look how warm everybody's going to be even into the weekend. So we're going into Saturday, still very warm, even though a cold front rolls through. And then we start to get another system that works in on Sunday. It will start to change things just a bit. But I do want to go, I'm going to go to the upper level dynamics here. And I want to show you kind of what we're looking at down the road. So let me get this set up here. In fact, I wanna, I wanna do, let me switch up here. Let's do Vorton Wind. So I'm looking at the GFS model, which is a long range model and it, it sucks. It's not a very good model, but it gives you an idea of what could happen. And I'll kind of explain what should happen looking at the pattern. So again, this is, this is our upper level pattern, about 17, 18,000 feet. So where you see the brighter colors, that's where the storm energy is. So let's go back here let's go through time just a little bit all right so we're looking at Sunday we have this weak wave that pulls out into the central plains. so this is going to cause rain for the central plains but look how the jet is diving way back toward the west so let's go into Monday and then Tuesday this system <coughs> geez this system should dive farther south. Last time in the cycle, we're about 62, 63 days, it dove much farther south. So I wouldn't be surprised if it dives a little bit farther south and brings in a little bit colder air. And then let's go through time. It gets really active next week. Here comes another system. So let's go into Thursday. Look at this guy out towards California. So he skirts out Friday into Saturday, a much stronger wave. And this guy should go a little bit farther south. And so now we're into early January, another system comes out. So at least this part of the pattern gets a lot more active. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to, uh, actually let's do this. Let's go to 850. All right, so I'm gonna show you where is the Arctic air. We've had a very positive, Arctic oscillation all through really about the past four or five weeks. So the, when you have a positive Arctic oscillation, the Arctic air stays north. When it goes negative, which if you're a snow lover, you need it to go negative in the winter months. It just went negative. So we're getting this Arctic air finally starting to build up. The big question is how far south will it go? All right, so let's go back here and I'm going to scroll this back. All right, so here's your Arctic air. It's all this purple white air. So let's just kind of glance through the next week. So let's kind of go through time, gets colder uh, as you get into New England. Look at all the warm air across the Central Plains. Here's Friday, here's Saturday. Let's go into Sunday and Monday, but look at the Arctic air kind of building up north, northern parts of the plains, and then it's trying to let loose by next week. And so it, it's up there, we just gotta get it to let loose. And again, this is our long range model and it's not a very good model. All right, so let's look at precip. I'll kind of show you what I think should happen, but this is just something we want to watch. All right, so let's go here. Sorry, I'm shaking the computer a little bit because I'm using touchscreen, which I probably should not be doing. All right, so let's look at Sunday's wave first. All right, let's go out. Here comes Sunday. This may produce thunderstorms, Missouri, southeastern Kansas, down through Oklahoma, but real heavy snow across Wisconsin where you can pick up five, six inches. Kind of crazy, but this is going to push east. And then here comes the one for Tuesday, another storm system. And again, I think this will track a little farther south, but on the southeast side, we're going to get thunderstorms again. So we'll have to see if this is down through Oklahoma or Arkansas, or if it stays in southern Missouri and also southeastern parts of Kansas. This will produce snow across the northern plains, but again, I want to see if it tracks a little bit farther south. All right, let's go into late next week. Here comes another wave. Here's Thursday, showers, 
thunderstorms again. This has been a trend all fall into the winter. Thunderstorms and again snow north. Again, I want to say this system tracks a little bit farther south as we go into late next week. So this is right before New Year's. And then here comes the weekend storm system. This could produce snow for the central plain. So it does get more active over the next week or two, mainly due to that Arctic oscillation going negative and allows that colder air to sink a little bit farther south. We're gonna do a lot more of these videos. I haven't done much over the past week because the weather has been boring as can be. All right, guys, uh, have a great night and enjoy your Christmas holiday.